they were more inclined to be one-on-one -on -one with you. It's, I think it's more corporate now. Mm -hmm. It's a big corporation now behind the studio movies. And they're very concerned about Europe, how will it sell abroad, will the DVD sell, will this, but the whole globalization thing. So they're looking for, is it a horror film? Okay, we get it. Is it, is it, uh, is it uh, a gangster movie? King, bang, boom, boom, runaway train. We got it, we understand. Is it a movie about an old man and a cat looking for a place to live? Which won Art Carney and yeah, Oscar. Yeah, but, but that would stay would be saying now, well, it sounds, you know, but can you do it for like $30? I mean it. I guess part of what I'm asking is if the economics of it didn't favor you then as opposed to now. Because I can see how no one, I mean, the, the part that makes me want to cry is the idea that the young version of you can't make the movies that you, you know, the, the equivalent only, movies that you make. It, the, the only way he can make it, or she can make it, and there's a lot of she's now, Winterbone. Mm -hmm. Did you like that? A lot. Good. Only way they can make it, and they're capable of it, much lower, on the run more, guerrilla warfare, digital, whatever, but still with the sensitivity. And now and then you see there's, there's four or five of them every year that are pretty good. Labors of love. Yeah, So, but they, they may not get distribution. Only one or two get real distribution. A lot of them just go right to DVD or, uh, I don't know, pay TV. I don't know. Well, I'd like to argue that maybe the fighter, in its trimmed back, lean, mean version, you know, as funded by relativity, you know, for like twenty-five thousand, I mean, million, as opposed to uh, <laughs> thousand. How much did it cost? Twenty-five million, as opposed to the sixty or seventy it would have cost. At, so it at cost Paramount. twenty-five. All of the actors, the director, the writer, everybody, less. Yes. Right. Yes. That's why. You can do it, but they all have to agree to do it. I was told that Wahlberg was involved with this thing for 10 years. Yes. And other people were involved. One, I don't know the names, but I'm sure that Christian Vale, who was terrific. He did it for 250. He didn't, he didn't do it for money. He didn't do it for a good back end. All right. But that wouldn't have happened at the studio. Well, Harry and Tonto, I made $75,000. Let me tell you. I'll give you the numbers. Okay? I made $75,000 for writing, producing, and directing. Wow. Uh, I got a check for Harry and Tonto two days ago for $40,000. Because it's still... 35 years later, it's still making money. It cost 980000 bucks. It went into profit right away. Talk about the long tail. And it keeps making money. Keeps wow. making money. DVDs. Don't ask me. I mean, I, I Is that true of many of your films, do you uh, think? Uh, Unmarried Woman, Down and Out. Uh, maybe one or two others. Those are the main ones. Bob and Carol. Yeah. But Harry and Tonto cost so little they couldn't hide. See, Art Carney sold his points. I remember. He didn't want to take a chance. He sold his points back to them. <laughs> Poor guy. And I've gotten That's money. That's not funny, actually. I'm sorry no, to hear oh, it. he was a great actor. Yeah. Great actor. Yeah. Well, Art made nothing. He made 75 Gs. Unmarried Woman, Jill Clayburg made... Uh, that picture cost two two. Bob and Carol cost two two. But two two then it was a lot more than it is now. I think the Sting cost three. Yeah. And that was like the biggest studio right. movie of its so year. The, the, the things have changed. The union thing changed. But then again, the markets, the places where studios can make money, has gone up. You could, DVDs didn't exist. You had to make your money theatrically then. 
Pretty much. And Europe. I mean, yeah. And people, movies could last and build word of mouth over a long period of time. Yeah. But it's interesting to note that something like The Social Network did that. You know? It, it actually landed in theaters and stayed. It didn't open that big. It stayed for a long time in a way that's sort of similar to the way it used to be. What did that be. cost? Not that much. I think it's like 40 or 50. I don't think it's a big, big budget. Yeah. They did that under It's duress. a very good movie. But it doesn't have any names. The only name in that movie is David Fincher. And Sorkin. The actors who knew them. It's true. So they probably worked for very little. And the guy from Facebook is getting richer and richer. <laughs> he's he had it on the cover of Time. He's worth he's worth six point two billion from what I last read. <laughs>